Salutations and good morrow everyone, welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're hopping in and we're going to be talking another update already to the public task patch for the Into the Wood update. Now, before we hop in, I'm going to tell you guys two things. One, please comment and subscribe. But two, I want to point out that in a previous video, I was talking about a huge nerf to the game there was a huge nerf to the game that really made people upset they really brought down all the weapons and stuff like that made it so weapons weren't nearly as durable and that you were constantly repairing things and it was becoming a huge pain in the butt and it was a huge grind and stuff like that in this patch they fixed that they didn't up the damage a lot again but they fixed the durability problems they fixed a lot of the grinding problems they fixed the amount that it's going to take to do things so absolutely fantastic job from the development team coming through listening to the community saying you went a little too far bring it back a little bit thank you for doing that that is absolutely fantastic and i know that the community thanks you for doing that as well guys so let's hop in let's read through all of the public touch past a little bit there i totally failed talking there but let's read through these notes and then let's get into grounded and check out some of these changes shall we so okay so first thing it says here is that they fixed a crash related to grid building fixed a crash related that could happen uh when hot deposit fixed a crash related to creature auto audio loading fixed a crash related to closing the map so these first four are all about fixing crashes which is absolutely fantastic nobody likes it when the game crashes that always sucks whenever you're sitting there playing and all of a sudden you're out you know nobody likes that so thankfully we got that fixed okay ladders no longer adapt strange rotations when being added to existing grids so if you're grid building and try to put down a ladder all of a sudden it was kitty wampus yeah that's not that way anymore ssx no longer randomly hitches Termite King pathing improved. So the Termite King has received two upgrades here. Uh, three upgrades, I'm sorry. Uh, termite King will no longer also waits to attack while their smaller termites are around. And the Termite King walk animations are no longer really, really fast. So the Termite King is being adjusted ever more, getting polished ever more, making him look that much cooler, making him be able to do that much more, fight that much more, um, and just look like a, that much cooler of a monster in the game for us to fight. A larger bug should get stuck in terrain less this is good this is particularly for the black ox beetle it was getting stuck a lot making it easy to cheese there's gonna be a video about the black ox beetle coming out a little bit later on today so i hope you guys will hit the like button and make sure you guys subscribe for that one as well um let's see uh photo mode uh, photo models in data tab display correctly sweet uh, black ox beetle rocks attack no longer blocked by grass that's good that means this is going to clip through everything and just come and hit you that is what it is for it's meant for you to be able to move it's meant for you to get around it's not meant for you to be able to just stand still and attack him from a distance with arrows you're supposed to be moving because what would happen is he would get stuck somewhere and then he would sit there and throw rocks at you, but he wouldn't be able to hit you with the rocks because they get stopped by grass. It was a way to cheese him. It was a whole thing, but thankfully they fixed that. All right. Burgle will no longer awful, offer awful ooh, chip sleuth quests to players uh, that have already completed. That's good. The UI will no longer incorrectly imply the bomb can damage tier two and tier three resource nodes. Burrowing creatures no longer show their name uh, when the player looks at them. The hedge cutscene works perfectly for clients. More on that also in a video today because we are going to be covering um, how to unlock the scanners today. Fixed a few science placements. Building customization camera placement has been improved in certain scenarios. And beefy smoothies can be crafted in creative mode with all recipes unlocked and free enabled. All right, now we have some balance changes and improvements. These are the big ones that I was talking to you guys about um, that a lot of people are, well excited for because it fixes the nerf so let's read through them here coltana animations have been updated we'll show you that in a second a coal sizzle damage has been increased perfect ammo radio supports paging uh now that there are more than eight arrow types black ox beetle audio adjusted sweet ladybird audio adjusted fantastic additional icons added for items that we're using placeholders light medium heavy armor effects have unique icons 25 to 50 percent durability for all weapons to compensate for higher repair cost thank you it may cost a lot to repair things but we're getting 25 to 50 percent more durability out of our weapons that means less repairing okay that means you're gonna be able to swing them that much more often this is a huge fix for us so thank you what mode now implies a 25 percent durability penalty instead of a 50 percent durability penalty globs now cost 20 percent less shards to craft one less candy two less quartzite and salt thank you 
Scarabs now drop two to five twinkling shells instead of one to two. That's awesome because now we're going to be able to not have to go and hunt these things over and over and over and over and over again just to get one shell all the time. We're actually going to be getting two to five, which is great. If you can get five, that's an entire level nine upgrade at once, which would be fantastic. So now thank you for fixing that. It still makes it hard because those little scarab beetles are not easy to fight. But thankfully, they get that fixed in this one and we're good to go now. Okay, so Slightly reduced uh, height of bounce web uh, hitbox. Bummer. Players can no longer walk on constructed wall pieces. Wait, what? No. 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 No, that's how I got around a lot of the time. Uh, charcoal sizzle rate has been slowed down. Remove base green thumb chance while growing normal mushrooms in the garden. Pupas hanging from the ceilings can be knocked down like berries from the hedge. Yes, pupas hanging from the ceilings. Uh, now properly respawn. Termite delight meal added to the word pile cookbook. We'll talk about that in just a second. Fall damage no longer affects durability in any way. Survey stations now clearly cleanly cover all playable areas in the backyard once all are discovered. New jack and ball art. Updated VFX for black ox beetles and termites. Uh, additional terrain polish in the upper yard. Fantastic additional locations to discover in the upper yard. Additional item statuses at, or item icons and updates to status effect display the backpack and the statuses tabs. So lots of really cool things. Let's hop into ground and let's check out some of these things, shall we? All right, so here we are in grounded. So there you go. There's the updated animation right there already with the Coltana. So you can see it's a slash slash and then they turn their hands over and attack straight down with the Katana now instead. So slash slash straight down with the Katana to allow it to actually slice straight down. So fantastic update there. Thank you for that one. Let's talk that new meal that you guys were looking at. The termite delight brand new. Okay. This is four termite parts, two dust mite fuzz and two bug gloop. So they need, so that's, that's actually not that hard to make and this is a good meal so this is going to make a level three food that much better and what this does give you what this does give you is it allows you to have faster rock harvesting speed and faster grass harvesting speed so for the builders out there that are looking to gather or for quartzite gathering for quartzite gathering as well, when you are going down into the ant hills and you're looking to harvest quartzite, you're going to harvest it that much faster. Peblet harvesting for making foundations. I am coming to this, thinking this in my head, right? If they're giving us the ability to harvest rocks faster, there's very well possibility a way that we're going to be getting peblet walls in the future. So if we're going to get peblet walls, we're going to need a lot of peblets, which is going to make this rock harvesting that much cooler for us to be able to make. So I'm super excited about this one here, and I'm hoping that we get those peblet walls really soon because we have mushroom bricks. There's no reason that we shouldn't be getting something like that where we're able to make some, you know, peblet walls and make an actual castle out of peblets. I think that that would also be a really cool thing added as well. All right, now we're going to run over to the new area, and we're going to take a look at a couple other things. But before we do that, I want to look at the jewels here and the globs. The quartz side globs now only require um a couple shards in order to make so in other words i could come in here now and i can make um quartzite globs easy peasy now for some reason it's not pulling out of my inventory whatever but i can now make these guys which is awesome i can go through and i can make these with only eight instead of ten which is a which is all around a 20% lower, like they said, which means it's 20% less in order to make these. So as soon as these quartzite globs are done, I'll be able to make one quartzite jewel. I'm going to need five of those in order to upgrade my morning star all the way still, but are up to level nine, but I'm or eight. I'm sorry. Then level nine is 10 afterwards, but all around really cool upgrade. But yeah, like I was saying, now we're just going to run up into the upper hedge area and take a look at some of the bugs up there because they got some animation fixes. And then I'm prepping for the next video for the black ox beetle video so thank you guys so much i'm gonna meet you guys up over there all right so here we are in the upper backyard area and all i'm gonna do really quick is i'm gonna run right over here to the, the coal area so we can see the slower buildup of the sizzle but the more damage that it can do to us i just want to kind of show you guys off what really was changed here so i'm gonna run literally straight into this coal here so we can see Okay, so the sizzle, it builds up just a little bit slower, but that is doubled damage is what that is right there over what it was before. Oh my lord, that's fast. Oh, that's bad. 
Okay, so the sizzle is a lot more intense now. That is for sure. And then if we just run around the back area over here, we will be able to run into one of the newer bugs in the backyard, the black ox beetle. And then uh, we're going to just kind of check out some of its new moves really quick, and then we'll leave the video there. All right, so we found our black ox beetle buddy, and he is not happy that I am here even in the slightest. So here he is. He looks really, really good. Here's that rock attack. Or no, that's a charging attack, sorry. The charging attack looks the same as the rock attack. Wow, he just keeps going until he runs into something. There's the rock attack. Ooh, it still bounced off a rock on the ground, though. That's a good ad. Ooh, you got a lot of health. Ooh, you hurt. So the black ox beetles are crazy hard, especially when you get yourself a ladybird larva in there attacking with you. Ow, that hurts. But yeah, so the all around the black ox beetles, they look better, they look more polished, they look more dangerous, and I cannot wait to fight them in the future. But guys, that is all the time I have left for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit that like button for me. Let me know you guys want to see more. Also, please don't forget to subscribe today and leave me a comment down below if you guys found this video helpful. It really does help out the channel, and I really cannot thank you guys enough. So, thank you guys as much, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one.